Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight world? This your boy Money back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have David Benavidez, the undefeated former two time WBC super middleweight world champion, the number one super middleweight champion in the world, looking to get that fight in with Canelo Alvarez. Then we have Canelo Alvarez himself, the four division world champion, the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. And the face of boxing, we all know what Canelo means to the game at this point. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, we need to see what Canelo Alvarez got to say about David Benavidez beating on Demetrius Andrade the way he did. You understand what I'm saying? What we need Canelo to come out and do is tell David Benavidez that it's on, baby. You feel me? Canelo, come out and tell him that it's on, man. This is the fight, bro. This is the fight. Cinco de Mayo in May. You versus David Benavidez, man. You my dog, Nello. You run this shit. You the king, bro. But we need this fight, my G. We need you versus David Benavidez, bro. I need you to go out there and shed everybody up. You feel me? I need you to go out there and shed everybody up. Show them why you the king of this shit. You've been doing this for a long time. You've been fighting the best of the best. The best resume in the game. Continue to have the best resume in the game and go out there and get that young killer his opportunity at greatness and you show up and show out. David Benavidez, congratulations on the six-round stoppage over Demetrius Andrade, my G. What a hell of a fighter you are. What a monster you are. You living up to your name and you are one bad man. You understand what I'm saying? You are a bad man. Money Brian has to tell you that, bro. You gave me a shout out and I'm reciprocating the love, bro. Um, David Benavidez went out there and man stop Demetrius Andrade, the undefeated Demetrius Andrade, the two division Demetrius Andrade who's been calling out everybody. And, you know, he got an opportunity against David Benavidez and he went out there and did his thing. David Benavidez stopped him in a hell of a fight. Very exciting, very exciting. You know, Demetrius Andrade went out there, he took it to him. I got that um, coming. But, you know, David Benavidez, he deserved an opportunity after that, yo. He deserved an opportunity after that. He's been doing everything he has to do. He's been real. He's been trill. He haven't been overstepping his boundaries. His father have, but he haven't. You know, he's been giving Canelo the, the praise and the just do that he deserved. And now he wants his opportunity, bro. When it comes to Canelo, we all know Canelo runs shit. We all know it's up to Canelo to fight who he want to fight, bro. And when Canelo is ready, he going to step in that ring with any and everybody. You feel me? But it's time for him and Demetrius Andrade. You know, Monty B. Will said, bro. It's time, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nello got the hand injury. Um, you know, he fixed that thing. He went out there and took out Triple G. Um, then he took out my guy, um, John Ryder. You feel me? Then he just took out Jamel Cholo. Now it's time for David Benavidez. You already say you don't give a fuck you'll fight anybody, Nello, and I believe you. We all believe you. You know, we stand behind you 120%, but this is the fight that the people want. This is the fight that the people deserve. You understand? Everybody keeps talking about Terrence Crawford and Canelo. Terrence Crawford. And no. It's Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez Cinco de Mayo, baby. That's it. That's it. That motherfucker is going to sell and give you all the money in the world, Nello. All the money in the world. You feel me? And you can go out there and add a young, hungry line on your resume to show them what you're really about. What you're really about. And this is one hell of a fight, bro. One hell of a fight, bro. The style of Canelo Alvarez, the style of David Benavidez is go clash. It's made for headlines. You know, it's made for an instant classic, bro. And we all know um, a lot of punches going to be thrown and a lot of punches going to be landed, bro. A lot of punches going to be thrown and a lot of punches is going to be landed. But after tonight, everybody and their mama is going to step up and say it's time for Canelo Alvarez and David Benavidez. When David Benavidez said, hey, do y'all want to see me versus Canelo? The crowd went crazy. The crowd went nuts. I repeat, the crowd went crazy and the crowd went nuts. You had a lot of people in the stands. Floyd Mayweather was even in the stands. Mike Tyson was there. David Benavidez jumped out the ring to hug Mike Tyson and say, thank you, man. I love you for what you did for me. Giving me that hype. Giving me that publicity. Calling me the Mexican monster and me living up to the name and going out there and do what I got to do. And it's helped propelling me, you know, to higher heights. Like you said in the ring. Mike Tyson don't run around here and give people nicknames too, too, too many times. So once he do it, I got to take advantage of it, bro. And that's exactly what David Benavidez has been doing. Taking advantage of it. But, Canelo, it's time for you to come out, King. It's time for you to come out and show these motherfuckers that you not afraid of nothing. 
I'm going down the timelines of everybody, and everybody's saying, oh, if Canelo don't answer David Benavidez back, this means he's afraid of what he's just seen in the ring, and he's always been afraid of it. Stop the cap. Canelo ain't afraid of nothing and nobody, man. He's been in there with killers. He's been in there with animals. You understand? He know David Benavidez is a young, talented, hungry fighter, bro. He know what he brings to the table. You feel me? But it ain't nothing Canelo never seen before. You know? Once you get in there, you deal with that accordingly, fam. You know what I mean? Benavidez ain't never seen nothing like Canelo neither. You know? So once they get up in that thing, bro, it's going to be that. It's going to be that. But everybody is waiting on you, Nello. Everybody is waiting on you, bro. This is the fight. This is the fight. And now that David Benavidez just beat Kaden Plant, right, the guy you knocked out, he took him 12, but, you know, he still put a good beating on him. Now he just beat Demetrius Andrade, somebody that people thought, oh, man, Canelo don't want to fight Andrade. You know, get the fuck out of here, man. Baby, you want baby? Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. We know what you did to Demetrius Andrade. A lot of people say there was a, oh, he just did that because he didn't want to fight him. He was ducking him, this, that, and third, which is not true. Which is not true at all. And I had Canelo doing the same thing David Benavidez did to Demetrius Andrade. The difference is Canelo probably would have just knocked him out cold. You know what I mean? Probably would have just knocked him out cold. You know? So this is the fight that we need, man. This is the fight that we need. This is the fight that we all want. Canelo versus David Benavidez, man. Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. You know what I mean? It gets no bigger than this in boxing. Right now, this is the biggest fight in boxing. Outside of Tank versus somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right now, this is the biggest fight in boxing, bro. Canelo Alvarez versus David Benavidez. Oh, my God. It's going to sell millions of pay-per-view buys, bro. Millions of pay-per-view buys, bro. You know? But it's up to the King Nello to make it happen. I will admit that, bro. I will admit it. And I will say, David Benavidez's father... He need to stop, you know, cussing Canelo out and putting his own foot in his mouth because the more you cuss Canelo out and get disrespectful, the more Canelo say, fuck you. I'm not putting money in your pocket. This is a business at the end of the day. I'm telling y'all how Canelo get down, bro. It ain't that he want people to kiss his ass and nothing like that, so don't get it misunderstood. But when you get to calling him out his name and saying this and saying that, you know, Canelo a man. At the end of the day, he's a man. You feel me? Like I said, I'm not afraid of no fucking body, man. Nobody scares me, bro. Nobody, and I believe that. But when David Benavidez and Daddy get to talking all that smack and talking all that shit, it make Canelo like, man, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? You don't talk shit to me, then turn around and tell me to fight you. It's not like you forcing me to do shit. You know what I'm saying? If I choose you, I'm going to choose you. But be respectful, man. Be respectful. You know what I mean? You don't have to like me. You can talk shit without saying certain things. You know what I'm saying? So we will see how this thing play out, man. We will see how it play out. But from here on out, this is a fight that people really want to want because David Benavidez, he make a statement every time he step inside that ring. And his response after he win, it be, you know, the right things to say. It be the right things to say. He don't get out there, oh, Canelo's a fucking pussy, man. He's ducking me, man. He's fucking afraid of me. He don't want to fucking fight me because he know I knock his pussy ass out. You know, David Benavidez can talk that shit, bro. He can talk that shit. And I be like, I want to fight Canelo, man. You know, I think I'm deserving it. Like I say, I'm going to keep knocking out who they put in front of me. That's all I can do. Keep knocking out who they put in front of me. And once I do that, right? Then, who go be left? Who go be left? If I'm taking out the catch that Canelo Alvarez have a chance to fight, like, and that's how you got to do it, right? If I'm taking out the catch that they can put in front of him, then nobody going to want to see him fight them if I'm beating them first. And that's how you do it. That's how you make your own name. And, and David Benavidez has been making his own name. And he ain't been riding Canelo Coattail like Devin Haney be doing with Javante Tank Davis. He actually go out there. If somebody says name, he bring their ass to the ring. He beat their ass. He move on to the next. And that's how you're supposed to do it, bro. That's how you're supposed to do it. And I keep screaming Canelo name every time you got a fight like that, things of that nature, like you go get the fight. Do what's possible, and then take care of what you can control. And that's all David Benavidez has been doing. And now it's, it's really time for him to get his opportunity in 2024, whether it's in May or September. Whether it's in May or September, David Benavidez deserves a shot. Canelo, call that man out. Let him know his own. It's time, and you ready as well, bro. Straight like that. Congratulations once again to David Benavidez on a beautiful victory over Demetrius Andrade, an undefeated two-division world champion in the six-round stoppage. And most definitely, shouts out to Canelo, the king of this boxing shit. Can't wait to see you back in the ring. Straight like that, and money be his own to the next.